So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I will show you how you can use your old Android phone to use as a SIM hub display like this so that you can actually use it as a head-on display for any sim racing game or any if you're playing Formula 1 game, you definitely need a display to see the information out there like the tire temperature, like the tire wear, the engine temperature, the gear shifter, the position, the RPM. Well, I have uh, made a R RPM LED. So there will be a separate video for that. It will be in the i button up above. So make sure to check that out how I made this RPM LED lights. So this will also work with this SIM hub uh, software, SIM hub app. So first thing you need to do, this is also an uh, Android phone and this is an actual old Android phone. You can see the display is actually quite old. It is having black spot. This is why I'm using it. And this is my current phone which I'm using. This is also an Android phone. So the first thing you need to do here is that go to your Google's uh, Chrome browser or any browser. Just search in SIM hub dash. SIM hub dash uh, mobile app just search like that so the first thing you will get is an android app so there will be a forum in simhub dash only there you will get an android app there click the link click, click, click the first link it will be an experimental app download anyway it will tell that this is an app from a third party source so just open the app and install it using the package installer now install this app is already installed here so it might uh, okay it's saying harmful app blocked go to more details and click install anyway now use the fingerprint and then app installed and now click on open as everything is configured here in my system so this will actually now run straight out of the box you can see tire temperature same information is showing in both the screens if I increase the brightness you can see same information is being showing if I, if I click on if I click on drive you see everything is actually running pretty wild and if I break I'll just break in the last corner see I just braked just to show you so this is it and now the main thing is that after installing this it will not work straight away you have to actually install simhub on your desktop app so how to do that I'll just show you here right live so now head on to your Google Chrome and click on the new tab and then just search in SimHub. SimHub and the first thing we need to do here is a download. Click on download over there. It's actually quite easy. Uh, just like you download a software, I hope you are smart enough to make sure to download all these things. So it's downloaded. Simply now click on install. After installing, it's actually quite easy. I don't need to show you how to install it. You guys are smart enough and I know it. So now go down to the desktop and then open the app see and my app is already opened so if I double click on it it might crash so do not open it again so now when you run the game for the first time see if you run f124 game so automatically your configure your, your telemetry will be configured but make sure to keep an eye on this port this is the 2077 port this will be by default 2077 so now and come back in the game so after you've configured your settings in the sim app now you can configure the settings in the game now go to settings in the game option now there you will find telemetry settings now head on head on to the bottom side and you will set a udp telemetry this will be off by default now turn this on after turning it on all the settings will actually be there turned on and it's recommended that you should not change any settings here if you change the port here like say you set this to 20778 then make sure to change the same port in the simhub app in the game section in the options section of the game come back here click on ok this is the setting here for the telemetry now to make your software send the data to your phone so go to dash studio over here and go to dashboard and then you see uh, they will be they will actually ask you to open in a browser now open this on a browser like let me close this first let, just to show you so go to your browser and just search in open in browser or open in phone or tablet you can scan the QR code that's easy just open your phone open your QR scanner scan the code like that okay see it will show you an IP address just click on it and then copy this text and then open on Chrome. I hope you can clearly see what I'm doing here. You see the same thing is being showing over here. Well, you can use the uh, mobile version over here without installing the app. If I click on this, so it will load the app. Now click on full screen. Now, if I run the game, it will show everything over here. You see, 
all the data are here. Full screen. Now see, it's running. But here, remember, there might be some input lag. See, everything is similar. I reduce my gear to first, second. You see, this is not an app actually on the bottom side. This is an app in, this, in the main screen here. But this is not an app on the bottom. This is a, the running on Google Chrome live. So you can actually send to telemetry in two ways. Either you can install the app just like I did, or you can actually install it via Google Chrome. Well, uh, the Google Chrome method is actually also good, but the app is actually more reliable. One important thing here, before you run the first time, see this is this will be the first screen which you will get here in the app. So make sure that your server, this is this is your server actually, you have to connect to this server 192.168.29.97. This will be the same for everybody. And the server port 8888. So now in the bottom you see there will be screen orientation. Make sure it's landscape and then click on connect. If you select portrait mode, but what will happen is that if you just turn the phone left, it will again switch back to portrait and that will actually be annoying, quite annoying. So this is how you can actually use your old phone to use on SimHub. Let me show you, open, let me open this phone and show you actually how I fixed it. So you will need a both side tape. So let, well, I had both side tape, so not available right there, but yeah. Just use four both side tape on the four sides of the screen and then paste it on the back side of the screen. Because this is a DIY wheel, I can do anything I want with this wheel. You have to be fearless to do anything you want. If you made something in your life, then experiment with it no matter what happens, you know. Because if something something breaks, you know, you can easily make it. That's the plus point. So now you can actually use your wheel on SimUp using this Android app. So it's quite easy. I actually made it quite easy for you. Now if I drive it will actually look very cool. It will actually look like I'm using a Nexion display. This is how to take a turn. This track is actually like a snake. You have to actually move like a snake. Look at the gears. It's actually looking cool. You can also see the map. To use the map, one more trip tip for you. Uh, if the map doesn't show up right away, you have to play a lap to map to make the map to appear on the on your HUD on your phone. And you can also swipe left right for the tire wear. Okay, this is. You should actually concentrate fully on the game. If you do swipe left or right in the game, make sure to swipe left and right only on a straight line or else you will actually crash. Now DRS zone, you can swipe left again for the best sector. You see, you can also see the uh, driver ahead. See a driver behind, there is a driver behind it's showing in Chinese. So this is my opponent actually. I'm playing online. That's why it's showing. It's also showing you the driver's name there. You can see there. Let me pause here. It's coming. It's coming right there. It's actually showing driver behind. So this is my personal best. It's actually going in minus. And if I go to, it will also show you the all-time best and the personal best, previous best. So this is all. And this is the map. And this is the current sector. It will also show you the sector. This is just a, this is just a random display. And this is the map display. Again, so this is actually quite cool. You can actually try it yourself. Till then, see you on my next video. And if you want to know how I made this steering wheel, then click the video on the right. And if you want to know how to hide this steering wheel in the game, then click the video on the left.